Hey guys, this is Tarot with Kittens, Weights, and Tarot, and I just had to do a deck review of this because I literally got it yesterday. Um, I haven't worked with it that much, and um, I really, really want to work with this a lot, and I really feel like uh, I haven't seen many images of this, you know, out there on the interwebs, so I figured, like, people need to see this deck. They need to see this artwork. You know, I'm not saying people need to buy this deck necessarily, but I think that the energy and the artwork of this deck needs to be out there. So if you're viewing this video, um, I, I really want you to just, you know, sit back and enjoy the beautiful artwork of this deck. Um, so this is an, oops, sorry. <laughs> this is an Alana Fairchild deck and it's called Earth Warriors Oracle, Rise of the Soul Tribe of Sacred Guardians and Inspired visionaries so oh my gosh um so this is a blue angel published deck just want to kind of show you the box i love the color so much and it's a good sturdy box that you know that your cards will be safe if you choose to travel with them. Um, I am going on a little trip this weekend and I'm thinking of taking this deck with me. So I'm going to place the cards aside for just a moment and I want to take a look at the guidebook. And so this is actually a pretty meaty book but that's standard per Alana Fairchild. <laughs> so um, let's jump right in. So copyright 2018, you know, just came out. Um, so there's uh, like this really beautiful, well-written intro um, on the deck. Um, then it goes into um, you know, who the Earth Warriors are. Um, and I haven't fin finished actually quite reading through this, so I want to I want to do that actually. Um, and then how to bless the deck. Uh, there's a couple of uh, different layouts. Um, I think I want to do the Earth Mother Speaks maybe before I go to bed tonight. Um, and just sample readings. Okay, so the card messages, how that's laid out. And I always love that there's so much information in an Alana Fairchild deck. So we have Hotso, uh, the beauty of the way of the Navajo. Um, so we'll give you like a quick little um, insight to like uh, the energy that's coming off the card um, then what happens if you get it in a reading uh, what is the spiritual significance of um, receiving this card um, and obviously a little bit of background on that particular energy that's on the card and then how you can use the card in a healing process you know if that is something that you deeply want to work on as uh, she gives a suggestion on how to work on it um, and it's like that for you know every card and there are some of the cards that lay sideways. Um, for some people, that's kind of a big deal for me. Because <laughs> I have a few decks that, you know, lay on their sides. And it's not been a problem for me. Okay. And then just kind of go into the back. There's a little bit of an afterword there. And a little bit about your author. And the artist, Isabel Brenna, Mariposa Galactica. Nice. Okay, and then other books for Atlanta Fairchild. And there we go. Okay. So put this aside and let's go ahead and get into these cards. But first of all, let's look at the cardstock. So this is, you know, your standard oracle size, uh, just a little bit bigger than your hand. Um, and as you can see here, it's a very like satiny, smooth finish um, with really hardly and there I mean there is there isn't any gloss it's matty um, but yeah it actually in this light it makes it almost look like it's iridescent which I love how the lights playing like that <laughs> um, it's nice and thick um, so that you know it's not gonna get damaged or, or whatever from constant use um, nice sealed edges as well okay um, so getting in nice and tight now you guys can see the intricacy even on the backings of the cards. It's so breathtaking. I love it. Okay, so 
let's look at these cards. Like I said, I just got it yesterday. I've kind of dabbled with it a little bit. I did a card pull for myself. I did a card pull um, midday today, actually. Um, and I'm still kind of reading up on who some of these energies are. Um, but I'm loving the images that are coming through. And like what I get from these images. Like, ah, get you just right in the heart, right in the homie heart. <sighs> And I think it was um, Cosmic Creeper. Uh, yeah, I think we were talking earlier. Um, she was like, hey, do our videos this deck? And I'm like, like, for sure. Because, like, I was like, <laughs> I, you know, as, as you know, I'm, like, trying to get through all my tarot decks, reviewing all my tarot decks. Then I want to go and review all my Oracle decks. But I just couldn't wait. Like, people need to see this deck. And they even put Wally in the deck. I'm just like, Wally, look, it's you. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not going to be too chatty with this deck because I'm just over here soaking up the energy. Like, uh, I can't wait for this video to be over so that I can go work with my cards, go meditate with them. <laughs> so many different cultures, you know, spiritual beliefs represented in this deck. Like a lot of um, different ancient cultures with like earth-based earth religions. And beliefs, spiritualities. <sighs> yeah. Oh, Ishtel. It's so hard because, you know, cause it, it kind of is like, um, well, like in, in, in Spanish, you know, there's there's a lot of towns like Oaxaca uh, and down in Mexico. And it's like some some of the names are a little hard to pronounce. But I think because um, like in 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 Spanish, the the X, especially like for certain cities, it's like a <laughs> sound. <laughs> so it hell. And this is what I pulled for my my first pull. Oh, this was this was good. Okay, um, so what I want to do right now is actually just do a little bit of shuffle so you guys can see how that goes. Since they are big, I usually like to do a top shuffle instead of a side shuffle. Let's see if I can do this at an angle without dropping the cards. I'm trying not to talk the camera. <laughs> okay. Really, really little shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Okay. And let's go ahead and just, you know, pull three cards. I'm going to move this off to the side. What the cards would look like aesthetically all laid out. There you go, very beautiful. We have a uh, Shakana, Kinete, and Chaska. Beautiful, 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 absolutely beautiful. Okay, so yeah, if you guys have any questions on this, please let me know. Put that in the comment section below. If you've actually gotten this deck, 
um, let me know how you're working with it. Let me know what kind of energies you guys are getting off of this. Are you meditating with the deck? Like, like how do you use this deck? Because for me, the energy is a lot different than some of my other decks. I'm, I'm really, really happy that <laughs> I'm working with this now. Um, and yeah, um, don't forget that if you guys want to catch a reading with me and maybe you want to use this deck because you find it as awesome as I do, uh, then just let me know upon booking. Um, you can book a reading with me at Kittens Waits Tarot on Etsy.com and the link is down below or just head to my website www.kittensweightsandtarot.com. Um, and don't forget to head over to Patreon, uh, patreon.com slash kittens, weights, and tarot and join the kittens, weights, and tarot tribe where together, um, we're creating and giving back to the community, um, while you get, get freebies in the process. So, uh, right now we're working on the Wally Oracle. So that's going to be a lot of fun. And I have a lot of other cool things planned. Um, and if you guys did this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to click subscribe and don't forget to click that notification bell for more videos just like this. And I'll catch you spiritual homies later. All right. Peace, love, and chicken grease. Peace out.